Please be seated. Good evening. My name is John Halpin, and I have the privilege of being the Director General of John Abbott College. Bonsoir et bienvenue à notre beau collège. Je dois commencer en disant que cette cérémonie vient toujours me toucher au cœur. Donc, je suis certain que nous, euh, nous allons tous avoir des beaux moments ensemble ce soir. I'll start with our land acknowledgement. At John Abbott College, we acknowledge that we are on unceded indigenous lands of the traditional territory of both the Ganyagahaga, Mohawk, and the Anishinaabeg, Algonquin peoples. We are grateful for the opportunity to gather here, and we thank the many generations of people who have taken care of this land and these waters. Jojage, Montreal, is historically known as a gathering place for diverse First Nations. Thus, we recognize and deeply appreciate the historic and ongoing indig indigenous connections to and presence on these lands and waters. We also recognize the contributions Métis, Inuit, and other indigenous peoples have made in shaping and strengthening our communities. Together, as a diverse college community, we commit to building a sincere relationship with indigenous peoples based on respect, dignity, trust, and cooperation in the process of advancing truth and reconciliation. I would now ask you to stand, and one of our students, Noura Habab, will sing our national anthem. Thank you, Noura. You took the breath out of most of our windpipes. On behalf of John Abbott College and Mrs. Gwyneth Edwards, Chair of the Board of Governors, we wish you all a warm welcome. And I'll ask you to be seated. <laughs> welcome to all our special guests who are here on the dais. I also want to thank all the families of these graduates who supported them through the past years. Donc un gros merci à toutes les familles de nos diplômés qui les ont supportés durant leur parcours et qui continueront de les supporter. I also need to offer a special thank you to our faculty and all the employees of John Abbott College who worked tirelessly to help these students reach tonight's milestone. Now to the 2023 graduates. There we go. 
<laughs> now to the 2023 graduates of John Abbott College, congratulations. You made it to this beautiful milestone. A milestone that represents years of hard and uh, unwavering determination. Each and every one of you sitting before me has shown awesome resilience and strength in your pursuit of knowledge. You have pushed boundaries and grown both intellectually and personally throughout your time at Jack. While, this important, uh, while it is an important milestone, it's equally important for you to remember that your learning does not stop here. The world is an ever-evolving place and there are challenges ahead. We all must continue to educate ourselves, adapt to the future changes, and embrace lifelong learning. So be curious for your own personal growth, and more importantly, to contribute to the betterment of society. Remember, life is not just about you. And it's certainly not what social media is selling. There's, there are now eight billion people on this planet, so you need to work and collaborate <clears throat> with these people to ensure that you're truly creating a better future. There will be many points in your life where you will want some of those eight billion people to help you. And many people sitting here tonight already have. So cherish the relationships you have built, <clears throat> your friends, your mentors, and the faculty who have supported you. Success is not measured by wealth or achievement. It is found in the lives that we touch. Our world is full of challenges, but you are part of a generation filled with incredible potential and an unwavering determination to create positive change. So be compassionate, be empathetic, and use your education and skills to make a difference in the life of others. The world needs your perspectives and your innovative ideas. The world needs your commitment to justice and equality. For an old white-haired person like me, your presence here tonight gives us all hope that the future will be better. So thank you to the graduates of John Abbott 2023 for giving us that hope. Donc, pour finir à nos diplômés de 2023, félicitations. Je vous dis merci à l'avance pour tout ce que vous allez faire et merci de nous donner de l'espoir pour l'avenir, un avenir qui vous réserve de grands succès. I would now like to officially open the 47th Convocation of John Abbott College and I invite to the podium the chair of our Academic Council from our Chemistry Department and Master of Ceremonies for this convocation, Dr. Suzanne Black. So welcome. I have some housekeeping items before we really get started. So we ask your kind consideration in respecting convocation traditions. Please turn off your cell phones and other electronic devices, anything that goes beep, whirl, whatever. The graduates will be approaching the stage by their program. You'll find the order of programs listed in the convocation booklet. When taking photographs, please be sensitive to others and do not linger in the aisle. Return to your seat after taking the photograph. Graduates, please return to your seat after receiving your diploma and remain in your seat until the ceremony is over. We ask that at the end of the ceremony, all guests remain at their seats until the recessional has ended. And should the fire alarm ring, it's not going to, right? Final exam sort of thing, we don't do this. But if it does, we need to evacuate the premises. There are doors behind you and to both sides. Not going to happen. Now I have the pleasure of introducing our academic marshals. So I ask you to please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all the marshals have been introduced. So we'll start with Sabrina Brown Fife, Coordinator of Indigenous Student Resource Center. David Campo from the Academic Advising Department. Sharif Darwish from the Biology Department. <laughs> Valerie Desprez from Academic Advising Department. 
Roxanne Dupuy, Manager of Housing Services. Anthony Haddad from Academic Advising Department. Laura Jenkins from Academic Success Center. Sheldon Lewis from the Counseling Department. Frank Levasco from the Mathematics Department. Sylvie Mariage, Department de Francais. Jordan Martel, Assistant Manager of Housing Services. Cynthia McIntosh, Academic Advising Department. Sharon Rutherford, Biology Department. Maxime Sergei Tremblay, Language Resource Center. Kelly Sudia, Academic Advising Department. And Dr. Anna Woodrow, Humanities, Philosophy, and Religion Department. Thank you. You may be seated. And now let me introduce the dais. Again, I please stand as I call your name and remain standing until everyone has been introduced. Jean-Marc Michaud, co-chair of Police Technology Program. Glor <laughs> Gloria Jaramello, chair of the nursing program. Laura, Laura Lippert, coordinator, intensive nursing program. Francine Trudeau, co-chair of dental hygiene program. Ethan Momberkett, coordinator of honors social science program. Maggie Maymary, coordinator of social science program. Dr. Sean Hughes, coordinator of the science program. Laura Pfeiffer, Chair of education, Physical Education, Health and Nutrition Department. Jenny Coburn, Co-Chair of Humanities, Philosophy and Religion Department. Dario Guducci, Anthropology Department. Michael Foy, Psychology Department. Richard Levele, Co-Chair, Geosciences Department. Mark Iwanchina, Chair of Engineering Technologies Program. Tanya Zepini, Language, Literature and Culture Department. France Ballon, Co-Chair Mathematics. Dr. Beth Acton, Chair of the Biology Department. Maria Mastakotis, uh, Physics Department. Dr. Emily Baderby, Chair of the Chemistry Department. Bruce Tracy, Coordinator, Arts and Sciences Program. Belinda Gare, Co-Chair, Graphic and Web Design Program. Francois Charnay, Chair of Youth and Adult Correctional Intervention Program. Dr. Jamie Wilson Goodyear from the Visual Arts Program. Colleen Leonard from Media Arts Department. Dr. Andrew Cook, Professional Theater Program. Yeah. Andrew Cawson, Co-Chair of Pediatric Care Program. Luca Chanfaglia, Biopharmaceutical Production Technologies Program. Angela Vela, Co-Coordinator, Arts, Literature, and Communication Program. Yeah. Melissa Mode, Chair, Information and Library Technologies Program. Avery LaRose, Coordinator of Liberal Arts Program. Vikram Singh, Computer Science Program. Harold Hoffel, English Department. Mariella Castellana, Dean of Social Science and Related Technologies. Dr. Roberta Shalarova, Dean of Science and Related Technologies. Teresa Brigello, Academic Dean. Tanu Luzion, our guest speaker. Dr. Gwyneth Edwards, Chair of the Board of Governors. John Halpin, our Director General. Dennis Wade, Director of Student Services. Kim Martin, Dean of Indigenous Education. Dr. Douglas Brown, Dean of Pedagogical Development and Innovation. Daniel Rando, Co-Chair of the Department of Francais. Krim Jaffer, Coordinator of the Honors Science Program. Thank you, you may be seated. I'm pleased to introduce to you Sophia Clarice Pazia, this year's salutatorian. <laughs> Sophia is a graduate of the Honors Science Program with an overall average of 97.04. She is described as being an exceptionally cheerful and personable student who fully embraced being part of the John Abbott College community. Beyond an exceptionally strong academic record, she also continuously demonstrated a commitment to helping others. Sophia served as SUJEC Vice President Academics in 2022 to 2023. She's been a peer tutor with the Academic Success Center for the past three semesters, and she volunteers at the Teresa Deller Palliative Care Facility on a weekly basis. This fall, Sophia will be pursuing her studies at McGill University in the Faculty of Science in the Medicine Prep Program. I now invite Sophia to come forward to deliver the salutatory address.
Life is a journey, not a destination. La vie est un trajet, pas une destination. A cliche we've all heard time and time again, which convinces us that despite our goal-oriented mindsets, we must also live in the present moment. And in most cases, yes, the statement is extremely valid in that we have to relish the process. Yet, throughout my time here at Abbott, I have come to the realization that this assertion isn't entirely true. Upon further reflection, I now consider the destination to be equally as important as the journey, because the destination that we choose determines the direction we will travel in and the moments we will experience. Several years ago, when we accepted our offers to John Abbott, we made the decision to strive towards this destination, graduation. And despite the numerous different paths we all took in order to get here, this singular choice heavily influenced the events we lived through, both good and bad. Whether that be submitting an assignment on Omnivox at 11.59 p.m. after procrastinating the entire day, having productive study sessions with friends that turn into three hours of discussing completely unrelated topics, navigating campus almost as confused as we were on our first day here because of the random construction that seemed to pop out of nowhere, and the unparalleled joy of waking up to a canceled class notification. Cela étant dit, dans quelques années, lorsqu'on se souviendra du temps qu'on a passé ici à John Abbott, ce ne sera probablement pas le contenu de nos cours de sciences ou de mathématiques ou de sciences humaines qui nous viendront à l'esprit, malgré leur importance mais plutôt tous les moments en dehors de la salle de classe qui ont vraiment défini nos expériences au cégep. Ce sont les pique-niques avec nos amis sur le bord de l'eau, faire une sieste sur les fauteuils du deuxième étage de Herzberg, monter sur le 419 après avoir terminé un examen difficile et de passer par l'Agora pour voir quelles nouvelles activités se déroulaient, y compris la semaine multiculturelle, Springfest et bien sûr, le fameux camion que de castor pour en nommer quelques-uns. Thus, while we all come from very different programs, it's amazing to say that we will forever be connected by our one-of-a-kind John Abbott experiences. And now, here today, we are lucky that our paths are converging for the very last time to share in this monumental occasion we have all worked tire oops, tirelessly to achieve. Therefore, to the John Abbott grads of 2023, Congratulations. Congratulations to the knowledge that all of the stress and confusion, the late nights cramming, and the early mornings prepping for 8.30 classes have now finally paid off. Congratulations to all of your personal successes, both big and small, that are products of your grit and willpower. Congratulations for all the highs, the lows, and everything in between. The fact that we are all sitting here today is a testament to the dedication, determination, and tenacity that is found within every single one of us. But it's also important to acknowledge the fact that we could not have done this alone. So, thank you to those who have inspired us along the way, motivated us to overcome every adversity, and have guided us through the tough times. Thank you to our teachers for always creating challenges that pushed us to our limits and for beginning to unlock our full potential. Thank you to all of my friends who are now a part of the memories that I know will become part of my future nostalgia. You are the people I knew I could rely on no matter what, and no words can describe how grateful I am to have met and gotten closer to you or strengthened our pre-existing friendships over the past few years. And last, but definitely not least, I want to thank my entire family, who have always been my motivation and inspiration and have stuck with me through thick and thin. To say that your love and support has been indispensable throughout this journey would be an understatement, and I don't know where I would be without you. Life is a journey, not a destination. La vie est un long trajet, pas une destination. Et bien qu'il y ait certainement une part de vérité dans cette déclaration, cette cérémonie est la preuve que se rendre à votre destination mérite une célébration significative. Que tous les échecs que nous avons vécus 
les succès que nous avons célébrés et les souvenirs que nous avons partagés ont finalement abouti à ce moment précis. So, revel in the now. Because although we may be completely clueless about what's to come, be proud that we have achieved this eagerly anticipated milestone and are now faced with numerous exciting possibilities for what our promising futures may hold. Our journeys truly are just beginning, and I, for one, can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia. Now I call on our academic dean, Teresa Bergello, to introduce our guest speaker. Thank you, Suzanne. So our guest speaker, a native Montrealer, Tanu Lusignan, grew up in Vancouver and Haida Gwaii, steeped in British Columbia's indigenous artistic and broader cultural and political milieu. He returned to Montreal to study social sciences here at John Abbott, finance at McGill University, and then to re reconnect with his family in Quebec. Upon graduating, he was recruited through the Native Friendship Centre of Montreal and embarked on a journey of community development, working on issues of employment, training and education for Quebec's Indigenous people. In 2002, he returned to his roots in, in Haida Gwaii to raise his family and worked for various non-profit organizations, serving as an elected member to the Skygate Band Council and as a deckhand in a commercial fishing operation on the West Coast. Since 2014, he once again worked on indigenous community and educational issues in Quebec, first with the First Nations Human Resource Development Commission, and currently as the executive director of the First Nations Adult Education School Council. Son travail au sein du conseil scolaire lui donne de nombreuses occasions de visiter et de travailler avec des communautés autochtones éloigné et moins éloigné, et de s'engager dans les systèmes éducatifs et gouvernementaux du Québec. Tanu vit maintenant avec sa famille dans la communauté innue de Mashtuich, sur les rives de lac saint jean Through his varied experience and complex background, Tanu has developed perspectives on life and social issues in Canada that allow him to bridge the differences and make connections between Western and Eastern Canada, between the North and the South, between Francophone, English-speaking, and Indigenous Canada, and between urban, rural, and remote regions of Quebec. Tanu sees his and John Abbott's educational mi mission as reaching across all of that diversity and moving young and not so young people forward in ways that will contribute to mutual understanding an inclusive social, economic, and political development for all. Tanu, welcome. I am deeply honored to be here. Thank you for the, the welcoming intro. And a congrats again to the class of 2023. We are here for you, and you are the highlight of the night. So I really appreciate you being here again, and a round of applause for you. I'm here 30 years later. I started my journey at John Abbott 30 years ago. I moved from Vancouver, graduated from Vancouver High School with already a young child, and moved to Vancouver from here to Montreal right after the Stanley Cup Finals of 1993. It's been a long while since the Habs won the Cup, but I remember those days of the summer when I moved back here, and it was vibrant. And it, hopefully we'll get that feeling again soon, as I am still a diehard Habs fan. I came back to Montreal because I do have family here. I was born here. I have an affinity for Montreal, an affinity for the culture that resolves around the, the community of Montreal, 
It's a vibrant community, francophone, anglophone, English speaking, French speaking. C'est une communauté qui, qui a de la diversité. C'est une communauté à Montréal, ici, on voit, c'est international au niveau de l'éducation. Le système d'éducation, McGill, Concordia, Sherbrooke, Université de Montréal, Bishops, it's got dreams that are attaining for you, if you're going that way. But a lot of people come to Montreal because of the prospectives of this. And we have that opportunity to share that diversity amongst each other and how we can grow and lead towards a better society. And I think that's one of the affinities I wanted to share with you about my upbringing. I came back to John Abbott in 1993, graduating from Vancouver in high school with a young child. I didn't get into the mainstream right away. I didn't have the grades. I lacked the academic success to make it to McGill or Concordia or Sherbrooke or University of Bishops, wherever you want to go. I couldn't get into there. So I had to take small steps to figure out how am I going to achieve that goal. And it started out with a lot of instances going on through my life in the early times before I started John Abbott. A new child was coming and I said, it's time to go to school. That's where the future is and that's how we're going to change the world. And I registered for night school and I started my, my journey with my first course of effective reading and writing with one of our fellow colleagues, friends here, Doug Brown, who's still a friend. 30 years later, that connection is still here. And I heard the applause a few moments earlier when everyone got up a little earlier and everyone cheered and saw the bright faces of all the different departments and all, of you, all the graduates standing up and cheering for your department. Those are your connections. That, those are your quality connections to being, building and moving towards the future. And I think of where I am now, 30 years later, the connections you have, you can count them on your hand. You've got so many friends, family, but the real connections and professional on where you're gonna go, you can only count a few. And those few friendships that you're gonna connect with are gonna help guide you towards the future. And that connection I had with Doug back in 1993, we're still here today and proud to be here again to see Doug, to see the new family of John Abbott and everyone that's here and all the graduates that are here today to celebrate in your accomplishments. But it goes back to those connections. And I think that's important. You celebrated those connections earlier. Keep those connections alive. You never know five, 10 years, 20 years down the line, that that connection is going to help you lead towards something better. And here we are today, leading toward a better change with the graduates of 1993. And I feel an affinity for John Abbott. I've been working in the education system, as mentioned, for quite a number of years. And I've had the good fortune to, to, to revisit John Abbott to revisit the other schools in the surrounding areas, whether it be at Champlain or Vanier, Dawson, Concordia, McGill, to talk about how we can make effective change for our social environment. And we talked about Indigenous issues earlier today. I'm not here to speak about our history. I'm here to move forward from our history, learn from our history, cherish our history, and how we can work together to create a better society for Quebec, for our Indigenous communities, for Canada, and you are the leaders that will make it happen. And I have a fond and deep feeling that that's the way to go. Education is the key. Je suis né à Montréal, effectivement, je, je, je parle français un peu. Et ça, c est, c est, c est, ça, ça revient de, du système éducatif ici dans les provinces. On, je, je comprends qu'il que, que y a des enjeux à travers, tout le, à travers tout le Canada pour le milieu autochtone, mais que les similarités qu'on voit en Colombie-Britannique, en Alberta, au Manitoba, puis même au Québec, sont les mêmes enjeux. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on voit dans les systèmes? C'est le politique. I would encourage you 
them. If you want to make social change in what you're going to do, that you try and do it at the, ground, at the grassroots, uh, not at the political level. Take it, care of it at the grassroots. When we build things from the grassroots and move it up towards the higher commands of where it may be in politics or the control of politics, we'll make that change effective. You will make that change effective if that's your path, and that's the path you know that you will make. A lot of you are going to be graduating from here and making new changes in your lives, moving away from home, moving across the country, maybe heading off into international areas for university, for technical programs, for jobs, or even just to take care and relax. That's fine. Enjoy your life. Enjoy to relax. Enjoy to see the world. And that's the opportunities that you have and that you control. You're going to make choices in your life. You're going to come to a fork. We talk about forks in our lives. We're going to come to a decision and you're going to say, I'm going to go this way or that way. Maybe you've already made the decisions in your life, but you're going to get to those choices of I'm going that way or I'm going this way. And it's going to take you down that path and to make sure that you're comfortable with your choice and when you're making it, because you are ultimately in charge of that choice. No one else's, you are. And I think that's what needs to be, you know, the message I want to really share with you is, is, is that you're in control of your destiny. A lot of things that when to come up, you're going to get into the workforce. Some of you may already be doing part-time jobs, working. Some of you even going to have a family or your single family, or you're working and you're doing this to progress. You might be young, you might be old, but you have goals and aspirations, you have objectives, and that's where your heart's going to lead you to. You want to follow your heart. It's not cliches. People talk about these cliches, but they're not cliches, it's true. You want to be happy. You want to be smiling in what you want to do. If you're not happy and smiling, then think of something else because you already know what it is deep down, what it is. Do it. And that's what I want to share with you. Don't be forced into your decision. You make your own decision on your own. And that's what the, one of the key elements I want to share with you today. I've had the good fortune to, to not only be born here in Montreal, also to have been raised with the Quebec culture, raised to learn la langue française, de parler français, ma, ma, ma langue maternelle est le français. Peut-être qu'il n'est pas trop sur pire maintenant, mais j'essaie de, de m'améliorer tout, tout le temps. J'ai grandi dans le milieu français francophone ici au Québec, dans, dans mes débuts de, de, de la maternelle jusqu'à la deuxième année. Et après ça, je suis retourné à Vancouver et en Colombie-Britannique sur euh, à Haida Gwaii off the northwest coast of British Columbia. A Haida, born in Montreal, learning French, moving back to British Columbia back in the 90s. Different time, different reality. It wasn't celebrated that we understood the French language. When I moved back to British Columbia, we didn't celebrate the fact that I knew French. We were taught, oh, you're different. We were all different, and we learned from that. We got to celebrate our diversity. We got to celebrate our ethnic origins, celebrate our roots, reconnect with our roots when you could. Establish the relationships with your friends, your colleagues, all your future friends and colleagues and relationships that you're going to have, you're going to cherish and you're going to understand from a mutual respect. Mutual respect is a key principle that I, I take in a lot of what I do. It's not me or you. It's not us and them. It's about the collective. It's about understanding a future that makes a better society for all of Canada, all of Quebec, and all of our indigenous regions across Canada. We see the systems that are in place right now, and when I came to John Abbott, I did my research, 
and I'm proud to be a graduate from John Abbott. I looked up the other colleges from Vanier, Dawson, Marianapolis, and John Abbott was the one that stood out. This is where I found that that could lead to my path to get to where I need to be. And I found that here we have that diversity and we've got that collective approach with our teachers, with our educators, with an appreciation of respect, of quality of services that we find here. It's palpable. And I still sense it here today, 30 years later. Walking through the halls, I get flashbacks of my early days of macroeconomics, microeconomics, teachers that have passed, unfortunately. And I think from the gang of, 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 of 1990, I hate to refer to you again, Doug, but you might, you might be the last. And I unfortunately haven't met you, sir, but I probably did cross, cross paths with you in the hallways of John, John Abbott 30 years ago. And to see the evolution of where we've been, 30 years ago and to where we are now, it is a sentiment of pride, a sentiment of diversity, a sentiment that we are able to share our collective spirit across all the barriers and challenges that we find within the province of Quebec. C'est pas facile de continuer professionnellement ou même dans nos études ici dans le système provincial. On voit à travers les autres provinces que c'est encore plus flexible pour célébrer nos différences, pour célébrer notre diversité. Qu'on vient une famille immigrante, qu'on vient une famille autochtone, qu'on vient une famille anglophone canadien, francophone canadien, québécois canadien. Je pense à Elvis, Elvis Graton un peu maintenant, si le monde connaît Elvis, mais peut-être vous êtes un, un peu plus jeune. But in these words, on se rassemble. And that's, you know, the thing that we need to move forward. The change in our governments right now with the laws on language, on systemic barriers that are put in place by the provincial government are a reality. And I'm not here to make political messages. I'm here to talk to you about realities. And I'm here to talk to you about perspectives that come from other regions across Canada. Across Canada, we celebrate our diversity in British Columbia. We celebrate our diversity in New, in New Brunswick, in Ontario, in Nunavut. How is it that Quebec is 20 years behind? I feel that we are 20 years behind, but you are the leaders. All of you are the leaders that can make that change in our social environment. And that's the message I really want to share with you. In closing, I want all of you to remember that you're in control of your destiny, that you're going to make choices in your life going forward that are going to affect your pathway, which way or the other. And you're going to be making those hard choices, and you're going to commit to it. And you won't have regrets, because it's in your heart, your passion, and your commitment that drives your future. So always do what it is that you're happy doing. Don't let that go and keep it forward. Thank you again to the graduating class of 2023. Congrats to all of you. So I'm here to thank Tenu. Tenu, I want to um, pull out a few things that I learned from your message um, and that I'm hoping the rest of you learned as well. You spoke about connections, you spoke about social change, and you spoke about diversity, you spoke about Quebec, and you spoke about the role of education and how education plays a fundamental role in social change. And I think that's something for all of us to think about, not just those with caps on their heads right now, but everybody in the room is how important it is for us to be open-minded, for us to learn not only in the classroom, but also beyond the classroom, and to make as many connections as we can. As we get older, our connections might be fewer, but maybe they shouldn't be. Maybe we should continue to make connections our entire lives. And maybe we make those connections in the classroom 
and even more importantly maybe, even as a teacher I'll say that, outside of the classroom, amongst yourselves, when you're sitting with each other in social situations or with your family members to learn about your own history, to learn about the history of your relatives, to learn about the history of your ancestors, and then to learn about the history of everybody else that you're with, people that you don't necessarily feel comfortable talking to. Get uncomfortable, ask questions and be curious. And the more connections that we make, then the stronger the fabric our society becomes, the more diverse we are and the more we can advance. So thank you very much, Tanu. It was a great speech. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tenu, and thank you, uh, Dr. Gwyneth Edwards, who's the chairperson of the Board of Governors. Now I call upon Teresa Bergello, our academic dean, to introduce this year's fellow Victorian. I'm honored to be able to be doing this. This year's valedictorian is a graduate of the Honor Science Program. She is graduating with an overall average of 98.04%. Yeah, wow. <laughs> this evening, she will be receiving the Academic Achievement Award in Biology, the J. Colin Robertson Academic Excellence Award in Chemistry, and is graduating with distinction in chemistry. She will also be receiving a Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Our valedictorian was an air cadet for six years, where she taught classes in and pursued topics such as aviation and public speaking. Elle est passionnée pour le mentorat et le tutorat. Elle a commencé à donner des cours particuliers au secondaire et a continué à le faire ici, dans les départements de mathématiques et d'anglais, tout en facultant ses propres cours. This winter, she volunteered at a CHSLD as part of her English course, where she says she felt a strong connection to the residents. She has chosen to continue working there over the summer. She is described as being an extremely hardworking student who is attentive to detail and who is a delight to have in class. She both aims for and achieves excellence in what she sets her sights on. This fall, she will, she will be pursuing her studies at McGill University in the Faculty of Science Medicine in the Med P program, Med Preparatory program. I now invite the 2023 valedictorian, valedictorian Hannah Badawi, to address the graduating class. The first time I attended a John Abbott convocation was five years ago. Mon frère aîné gradué. I couldn't wait to be in his place. Here I am. Good evening, distinguished guests, faculty, teachers, friends, family, and especially fellow graduates. I am honored to be addressing you all today as a graduate of John Abbott's class of 2023. As the youngest, major decisions till just about this semester haven't been too stressful. It was never a question where I would go for high school or CJEP. My family had already decided on that once, no need to do it again. But things changed this semester when I stopped following in their footsteps. I diverged from my family and like many of you had to ask myself difficult questions to determine what my next steps would be. Le cégep est censé faciliter cette décision. Vous pouvez vous spécialiser dans les matières qui vous intéressent, tout en ayant la possibilité de prendre des cours hors de ceci, s'ils sont disponibles, bien sûr, 
et si conforme à votre cédule. I must admit, being able to look at the fall 2023 schedule of classes with nothing more than an outsider's interest has been freeing. And yet, despite this foolproof design, it's okay if you don't leave John Abbott with 100% confidence in your 10-year plan. All we really have is what we know now. And while CJEP was incredibly challenging, it was exciting. We made friends, and we learned about what we were passionate about from amazing teachers. If anything is for certain, I know many more interesting facts than I did the last time I attended a John Abbott convocation. So many positives are happening all around us. We lived at John Abbott through a pandemic, but now the renovations of the most major and central hallway in the school finally finished, the library settled on an entrance, the internet started cooperating, the bistro reopened. While we were here, John Abbott life seemingly went back to normal. Some of us knew exactly where we wanted to go, and Abbott helped us get there, and others took the time to learn about themselves and discover what they wanted for their futures. As I look to my own, I must admit, it's scary. At every big moment, usually every graduation, we hear, this is the start of the rest of your life. But you could also say that every time you finish a bowl of cereal. Le plus important est de faire les bons choix pour vous maintenant. Faites-vous confiance. Faites confiance à vos habiletés et faites confiance surtout à votre détermination. If later things change, as they usually do, then that's just life. Honestly, I don't think teachers expected to need to modify their course outlines to stipulate that ChatGPT could not be used to write assignments. Who knows, maybe in another five years, students won't be asked to develop in-depth and thorough essays, but rather develop prompts that lead artificial intelligence to write in-depth and thorough essays. We'll have to wait and see. So five years after my brother walked across this stage, here I am. And the best advice I have heard from those who are where we want to be is this. Detours, longer paths, getting lost, and getting found are not time wasted. Life continues to happen even if you don't think you've made it to your final destination. So live every moment, big or small, even if you don't know what's going to happen next, because as a famous quote once said, prediction is very difficult, especially if it's about the future. Donc, J'ai hâte d'être surprise par quel sera votre avenir. Je vous souhaite le meilleur parce que vous l'avez mérité. Congratulations to us, John Abbott's class of 2023. And remember, life lived is not time wasted. Thank you. And now I call again on our academic dean, Tracy Bergella, to announce the recipient of the first academic award. I am honored this evening to announce the winner of the Governor General's Award. Long recognized as a symbol of scholastic achievement in Canada, the Governor General's Academic Medal is granted by the Governor General of Canada. Cette médaille académique est remise chaque année lors de la cérémonie de remise des diplômes à l'étudiant ou l'étudiant qui a obtenu les meilleurs résultats scolaires. The, res the recipient is an, outstanding, sorry, is an outstanding graduate in the Honors Science Program. She is graduating with an overall average of 98.42%. Again, wow. <laughs> Thank you.
The recipient has shown great potential in research already at the CGEP level. As one of the recipients of the MITAX FRQNT college level research in internship, she is engaged in research at the Applied Artificial Intelligence, Intelligence Center in Montreal, and her project named From Researcher to Consumer, Communicating Knowledge About AI to the Youth, was recognized with an Avia Research Scholarship as well. She will also be receiving the Biology Academic Achievement Award, the Dr. Natalie Schaefer Academic Excellence Award, graduating with distinction in chemistry, the English Honors Portfolio, the Prix d'Excellence in French, and the Academic Excellence Award for Honors Science. Unfortunately, our recipient could not be with us this evening, but we will proceed nevertheless to honor her. The recipient of the Governor General's Academic Medal is being awarded to an outstanding scholar at the top of her graduating class, Sabrina Du. And now I call upon our Director of Student Services, Dennis Wade, to come forward to announce the recipient of our second academic award. It's important not to forget the glasses, otherwise I could be here a long time doing some sign language for you. All right, we're here. While it is understood that the main objective of John Abbott College is the pursuit of academic excellence, the college is also committed to fostering a healthy balance between the academic and extracurricular life of students. It is in this spirit that we now present the Outstanding Achievement Award what is the highest recognition given by the college at convocation. This award recognizes the successful combination of high academic achievement and productive involvement in student life. This year's recipient has been extremely successful in both areas. This student was in the Honors Science Program who became heavily involved in many areas of student life, such as was a member of Bandersnatch, the student newspaper, and became the news editor in 2021, and the following year became the editor-in-chief. The student was also an active member of the Student Congress in 2021, and then became the secretary of Student Congress the following year. The student was a peer tutor in the Academic Success Center, and was also a member of the Counseling Student Peer Support Group at the college. The student also found time to be involved with classmates as a chemistry lab assistant, and was recipient of a John Abbott College Service Award for their involvement and dedication to fellow students. Their contribution to student life was also highlighted when they helped organize and participate in the Multicultural Week events at the college. Now I'm asking you to please listen to this. This student has invested and logged over 100 hours of service and involvement for her fellow students each semester. That's involvement. Give her a big round of applause. You don't know who it is yet. This student has done all of this while balancing the academic demands of the science program. This implication in extracurricular activities has helped her enhance their leadership skills, communication skills, time management and organizational skills. This student has learned to work within a team, to cooperate with others, and to come up with solutions to any given situation. In the fall, this student has been admitted and will be attending Université de Montréal in the pre-med program. Beyond all this significant involvement in student and campus life, the recipient of this award has achieved an overall average of 96.5%. Yeah, that's good. That's better than me. Better than me. I would like now to invite the Director General of the College, Mr. John Halpin, to present the Outstanding Achievement Award to a truly outstanding student, Tina Agnam.
Tina, come on back up. We keep the plaque for posterity. She has a diploma frame. And now I'm going to invite uh, our Director General, John Halpin, and our Academic Dean, Tracy Bergella, to come forward to present the diplomas to the graduates. <laughs> the graduates will receive a white spruce sapling to recognize their accomplishments at John Abbott College and the opportunities that lay ahead. Now presenting your graduates for the Double Deck Science and Social Science program. Lauren Alexander. Lauren receives the Outstanding Achievement Award for Anthropology, the English Department Award for Best Essay, the ISS Best Paper Honorable Mention for Social Science Research Methods, and the Environmental Studies Certificate, the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Isabella Biferali. Isabella receives the Outstanding Achievement Award in Economics and honorable mention the ISS Best Paper for Social Science Research Methods and receives the Student Studies, sorry, Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Sasha Buskila. Gracie Daibo. Gracie receives the Outstanding Achievement Award in History, is the winner of the Science Program Award, has earned the Environmental Studies Certificate, the Indigenous Studies Certificate, Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, and is a 2023 Lauren Scholar. Maria Nicolaita. Maria receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award and the Science and Social Science Double Deck Program Award of Academic Excellence. Samuel Quiroga. Aislinn Chamblo. Julia Sterling. Julia receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award and the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Kim Mai Tran. Kim Mai receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Jake Yatsin. And those were your graduates for the Science and Social Science Double Deck Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Honors Science Program. Tara Agdam. Tara receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Tina Agdam. Tina receives the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award and the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Tasha Amin. Tasha receives both the Biology and the Chemistry Academic Achievement Awards. Joel Amiot. <laughs> Madison Cooper. Um. Madison receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Juliana da Costa Dubé. Juliana receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. 
Livia Delat. Liana Figueredo. Alex Gagnon. Alex receives both the Biology and the Chemistry Academic Achievement Awards in the Environmental Studies Certificate. Mariam Gayed. Mariam receives both the Biology and the Chemistry Academic Achievement Awards and the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Dorsa Ganat. <laughs> Noura Habab. Daniel Ibrahim. Daniel receives the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award. Sophia Clarice Pasia. Sophia Clarice receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Hannah Badawi. Hannah receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Chemistry J. Colin Robinson Award for Academic Excellence and the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Boyuan Lee. Boyuan receives the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award. Minu Suvi Mahapatuna. Minu receives the Ruth Taylor Award for Best Creative Work from the English Department. Anna Mazur. Anna receives the Mathematics Award and the Physics Outstanding Achievement Award. Ali Najjar. Ali receives the Outstanding Achievement Award from Humanities. Linnea O'Neill. Linnea receives the Environmental Studies Certificate. Deborah Zaliki Sinishaw. Sharini Vadivel. And those were your graduates for the Honors Science Program. And now your graduates for the Science Program. Nazila Osh Abdi. Elisa Abergel. Carly Adams. Julian Edelstein. Lalita Allard Vabatsikos. Jasmine Alim. Elisa Amin. Stefan Andrasi. <laughs> Fatima Apatad. <laughs> Mina Dimitrova Apostolova. <laughs> Cole Arnold. <laughs> Salma Ateba. Zachary Aubin. Erica Baina. James Sheldon Batista. Zachary Beauregard. Noah Bilan. <laughs> Itai Ben Eli. Yeah. Stephen Black. <laughs> Amanda Bach. <laughs> Alexander Balmersback. Khaled Bubakar. (Applause) 
Eva Brogan Provencher. Ria Chana. Nadrath Shanu. Mohammed Hamza Chaudhry. Gavin Chok Chiong. Victoria Cleary. Sebastian Critescu. Adam Croft. Anthony Darvo. Brian Darvo. Georgia DeFlavis. Justin Desrochers. Xavier Dorsney. Thomas El Hindi. Jesse Estafanos. Alexandra Fair. Melina Faradell. Lauren Nicole Fari. Michael Florea. Michael receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Catherine Fortin Amel. Caitlin Fulton Kennedy. Aurélie Gagnon. Miriam Gallant. Miriam receives the Geology Award and the Environmental Studies Certificate. Karshini Ganesamurthy. Chelsea Gemma. Matthew James Jorgalos. Farah Gazui. Sarah Giasson. Eric Gunne. Mane Gutsuzian. Anthony Graciopo. Jumana Habibala. Carol Hanna. Kale receives the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Lillian Hanna. Alexia Maria Huerta Cornejo. Ryan Hull. Yasmin Ilkani. Nathaniel Insania. Nicole Estafanos. Salam Jabber. Ashwin Jayanandin. Hadi Kadura. Woo! 
Mac Karacheklian. Mac receives the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award. Yasin Kanji. Darian Clivestall. Mackenzie Clivestall. Anastasia Kosyakova. Nicole Coiler. Rintia Kumarasamy. Anna Kunitsa. Myra Lada. Jennifer Lamb. Jordan Lazar. Thomas Lebrun Robles Gill. Shelby Legare. Lucas Lehner. Lucas receives the Environmental Studies Certificate. Kevin Lee. Alexa Lee Kamwa. Jessica Liddell. Jessica receives the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award and the English Department Award for Best Essay Honorable Mention, as well as the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Anthony Loka. Logan Ma. Sumera Mahmood. Kiara McKenzie. Kiara receives the Environmental Studies Certificate. Alaku Ann Miko. Samuel Mena. Maxil Merjan. Jessica Miller. Matei Moldovan. Alexa Morelli. Sayede Nejin Musavi Hassani. Sayede receives the biology. Bert Editor's Memorial Award, as well as the Biology Academic Achievement Award and the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award. Clara Neneman. <laughs> Kiana Ngai. Sean Neum. Tesnim Obey. <laughs> Sophia Ostrioglo. <laughs> Andrew Junyoung Park. <laughs> Priyesh Patel. <laughs> Vikne Vine Patel. Maya Perfetti Lefebvre. Amber Perkins. Amelia Perna. Jack Perra. Jack receives the Nick Argansky Memorial Scholarship from the Mathematics Department. Marcus Porfilio. Nicola Prudhomme. 
Nicola receives the Environmental Studies Certificate. Ashley Q. Marina Raposo Spiridigliosi. Alexandre Robidoux. Mark Roy. Charles Rosa. Mira Saad. Mira receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Anch Sani. Maya Saini. Mackenzie Sale. Ashley Samarev. Jasmine Scanlon. Purandakt Segadat Najad. Bridge Paul Singh. Tessa Skelly. Cédric Saint-Onge. Valerie Syme. Valerie receives the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Sofia Tatyanchenko. <laughs> Veronique Chukovsky. Veronique receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Kate Towers. Kate also receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Charlize Kyle Balino Undai. Karen Vong. Stephen Wexel. Yuana Wisa. Francesca Wapling. Francesca receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Sean Shu. Zihan Su. Shayan Yamani Duzi Sorkabi. Yusef Yasa. Yusef Sami Yusef. <laughs> Yuliang Zhao. <laughs> Yukun Zhang. <laughs> and those were your graduates from the science program. Now presenting your graduates for the Honors Social Science Program, Mary Evans. <laughs> Carolyn Gennadnik. Carolyn receives the Environmental Studies Certificate, the Indigenous Studies Certificate, Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate, and is the winner, uh, winner of the ISS Best Paper from Social Sciences Research Methods. And those were your graduates for the Honors Social Science Program. Now for the graduates of the Honors Social Science Commerce Program, Alexandre Abi Habib, Thank you. 
Ariana Brien. Brendan Chin. Axel Conrad. Daniel McGee. Daniel receives the Outstanding Achievement in Physical Education and is the winner of the Social Science Program Award. Jackson McIntosh. Luc Olivier Melançon. Gabrielle Nacarado. Lauren Salo. Kennedy Webb. Those were your graduates for the Honors Social Science Commerce Program. Presenting your graduate for the Honors Social Science Psychology Program, Kiara Brunet Gross. Kiara receives the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. And now your graduates for the Honors Social Science with Math Program, Hannah Bloom. Jordan Caron. Samantha Ermakyle. <laughs> Catherine Luca. <laughs> Melanie Pomerlo. <laughs> Ilinka Popea. Ilinka receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Anna Predkarko. Anna receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. And those were your graduates for the Honors Social Science with Math program. And now presenting your graduates for the Social Science program, Mariel Joy Agtang. Abdullah Sadiq Akbar. Tiffany Akpebu. <laughs> Ubong Abasi Amana. Ubong Abasi receives the Social Science Program Award Honorable Mention. Fatin Inkiad Amin. Fatin receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Laura Asi. Laura receives the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Evans Christopher Azilme Primo. Francis Benoit. Iman Bati. Anna Bishai. Madison Botardo. Stephanie Boucher. Sabine Bourmayan. Alexia Browsweather Day. Kayla Brown. Skylar Buist. Francis Carey. Aisha Chaudhry. Alasia Shima. Roman Choan. Elizabeth Cohen. Christopher Collins. Amy Cousineau. 
Amy receives the Social Science Sports Studies Certificate. Gabrielle Seir. Chantal Darius. Nevish Dulal. Nevish receives the Indigenous Studies Certificate and the Women's Studies and Gender Re Relations Certificate. Daniel Dmitriev. <laughs> Leah Dubijansky. Leah receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Bella Maria Andras. <laughs> Jamie Gadori. <laughs> Bianca Gall. Elise Geldard Pilon. Vivian Gooding. Vivian receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Alexandra Goulet. Camden Gregory. Beatrice Hovington. Munta Bint Hussein. <laughs> Noah Kaufman. Adam Khoury. <laughs> Lucas Kramosh. Lucas receives the Environmental Studies Certificate. Samantha Craigsdy. Alexandra Laforet. <laughs> Catherine Leclerc. <laughs> Emily Ledoux. Emily receives the Environmental Studies Certificate, the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Charisma Litt. <laughs> Charisma receives the Outstanding Achievement Award in Anthropology and is the winner of the Social Science Program Award. Ainsley McDowell. Aaron McArdle. Morgan Meyer. Stephen Morello. Elise Rassico. <laughs> Fredisha Nakera Registry. <laughs> Jessica Reese. <laughs> Gabrielle Rimiar. Rylan Richardson. <laughs> Leah Robertson. <laughs> Zachary Rochelot. <laughs> Ariane Sevigny. <laughs> Jada Sintim. Catalina Suda. Kate Siebert. Kate receives the Social Science Sports Studies Certificate. El Desiree Talatad. Lucas Trantales. Paul Vaillancourt. <laughs> Emma Weber. <laughs> Alicia 
Zibrera. Alicia receives the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. And those were your graduates for the Social Science Program. And now presenting your graduates for the Social Science Commerce Program, Sarah Ahmed. Zara Ahmed. Adrian Alexander. Ariel Alexander. Elijah Anthony Palai. Lauren Besner. Jennifer Besverny. Ridi Banzari. Sean Brazer. Sean receives the ISS based paper honorable mention from Social Science Research Methods. Brianna Caruso. Alexander Champagne. Megan Curado. Megan received the honorable mention for the Social Science Program Award. Moreno De Chero. Adam Doré. Jessica Dunbarry Beadman. Mael Eustache. Tyler Halal. Justin Horvat. Alexander Hughes. Alec Kishian. Alec receives the Social Science Sports Studies Certificate. Norbert Lanus. Olivia Miller. Zohair Musi. Naziha Nilamdeen. Bruno Opedisano. Thomas Dylan Owen. Melissa Raymond Suchuk. Haley Reed. Spencer Ryer. Omari Robbins. Brandon Roy. Sarine Virgin Sarkisian. Thomas Skayam. Shelly Strelzowski. Elizabeth Tooley. Corinne Vanden Abley. Panais Vitoratos. Van Winlow. Tianao Xiao. Evan Zack. Adam Zimmerman. And those were your graduates for the Social Science Commerce Program.
Now presenting your graduates for the Social Science Psychology Program. Fairuz Michelle Amazir. Fairuz Michelle receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Julia Bradner. <laughs> Liana Chimino Lashiaza. Jenna Deer Frenetti. Jenna receives the Indigenous Studies Certificate and the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Connor Gagnon. Lori Globensky. Anissa Hum. Courtney Jordan. Nicholas Cuniaris. Vanessa Lagustan. Alyssa McLean. Julian Pavalescu. Julian receives the Joan McKenzie Psychology Community Service Award runner-up. Kiva Richet. Masa Salecki. Grace Seguin. Anurit Secon. Anurit receives the Joan McKenzie Psychology Community Service Award, Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Aisha Shahul Hamid. <laughs> Emily Skira. <laughs> Katya Stankovic. Alexandra Tverdokleb. <laughs> Marcella Fernanda Zelaya Urbina. <laughs> Basma Zia. Basma receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, Social Science International Studies Certificate, and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. And those were your graduates for the Social Science Psychology Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Social Science with Math program, April Baptiste, Mary Luca Bauer, Jaden Curat, Julia Davids. James Dent. <laughs> Isabella Di Paola. Marianne Gendron. Marilou Gervais. Susanna Jasmine. Gonzalez Kwan. Susanna Jasmine receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Nicole Gindi. Nicole receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Kermina Israel. <laughs> Simon Russell Lagran. Martin Lee. Kelsey Lim. Kyle McKenzie. Rosalie No Chea. Rebecca Palmieri. Sabrina Pinelli. Yeah. 
Lina Sadi. Sharda Sechardri. Leslie Ventura. Dristi Verma. Emma Zavadel. And those were your graduates for the Social Science with Math program. And now presenting your graduates for the Social Science with Two Math program. Randa Yasir Ibrahim Al Mutwali. <laughs> Salma Buskila. <laughs> Sofia Casola. <laughs> Navjot Kaur. Antonio Perdomo. Antonio receives the Environmental Studies Certificate. Sofia Romani. Sammy Rustam. And those were your graduates for the Social Science with Two Math program. Now presenting your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication program, multidisciplinary option. Eric Almonacid. Lisandre Bedard. Adrian Chilstek. Olivia Cote Laverdière. Jasmine Emma Dade. Adriana Ford Scantleberry. Zachary Foreman. Anna Maria Francianu. Alexander Gianetti. Alexander receives the Outstanding Achievement in German Language and Culture. Juliette Grégoire. Juliette receives the ALC Outstanding Achievement Literature Option Award. Benjamin Hamilton. <laughs> Brennan Keep. <laughs> Lucasy Kiatanik. Sierra Monaco. Sierra receives the Marie Napier Award for Exceptional Improvement in English. Isabella Ninservic. <laughs> Naya Angeli Olson Sheen. <laughs> Luca Onorati. Maya Pozibon. Maya receives the ALC Outstanding Achievement Multidisciplinary Option Award and the Outstanding Achievement in Italian Language and Culture. Puya Ratnam. Montserrat Rodriguez Bonilla. Vincent Rowland. Erica San Roman. Erica receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Skylar St. Louis. Ophelie Van Nest. And those are your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication program, Multidisciplinary Option.
And now presenting your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication program, Literature Option, Tiana Hildebrand. <laughs> Chloe Lefebvre. Chloe receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate. Kathleen Martleton. <laughs> Tevin McLeod Richardson. Nathaniel Salmon. Cindy Wary. And those were your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication Program's Literature Profile. Now presenting your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication Program Media Profile. Sabrina Bolduc. Xavier C. Sabrina D'Amico. Sasha D'Andrea. Marianne Girard. Justin Gregory. Alexandra Urov. AJ Kulchuk Gerdgen. Vian Lafon. Vian receives a Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Samuel Laperle. Nathander Mallet Blair. Victoria Manocchio. Victoria receives the ALC Outstanding Achievement Award Media Option. Madeline McWinney Cabral. Kelsey Richard. Riley Smith. Gabriel Simeon. Jana Tubal. Edison Yetman Van Egmond. And those were your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication Program's Media Profile. Now presenting your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication Languages Profile Program. Mirka Alair. <laughs> Kalina Kadzir. André Vaillard Bastien. André receives the ALC Outstanding Achievement Award for the Language Option and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. And those were your graduates for the Arts, Literature, and Communication Program's Languages Profile. <laughs> now presenting your graduates for the Visual Arts Program, Zineb, Zineb Gungor. Lisa Haley Mata. James Isa. Ilian Levag. And those were your graduates for the Visual Arts Program. Up next, your graduates for the Arts and Sciences Integrated Deck Program, Six Sciences Profile. Ivy Chen. Isabel Gitor. Ailan Nguyen. Ailan receives the Arts and Sciences Da Vinci Award for Excellence Across the Disciplines. Tia Obeid. <laughs> Thomas Haig Tarkomian. 
Ana Paula Valencia Cabrera. Iris Zhang. And those were your graduates for the Arts and Science Integrated Deck Program Six Sciences Profile. Up next, we have your graduates for the Arts and Sciences Integrated Deck Program Five Sciences Profile. Emilia Abergel. Kevin He. Kevin receives the Arts and Sciences Highest Academic Achievement Award and is the recipient of the Schulich Leader Scholarship. Maria Alexandra Livadario. <laughs> Lorana Malette Blay. <laughs> Delfina Martinez Leesley. Kiera McCaffrey. <laughs> Chloe Olszewski. <laughs> Nahari Aishani Serenane. <laughs> Grace Tian. Cynthia Kayan Tu. Daniela Sofia Valcarcel. Andrea Carolina Venegas Mogollon. And those were your graduates for the Arts and Science Integrated Deck Program Sci Five Sciences Profile. And now presenting your graduates for the liberal arts program, Marcus Ativi. <laughs> Fiordalisa Barboni Scandiuzzi. <laughs> Isabel Blinn. <laughs> Kieran Cabana. Laura D'Souza. <laughs> Artemis Fala. Artemis receives the Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate and the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Stella Jourdain. <laughs> Keva Masada. Vanessa Catherine Nicholas. Vanessa receives the Indigenous Studies Certificate, Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Emily Paris. <laughs> Olivia Pontecorvo. Olivia receives the Outstanding Contribution to the Liberal Arts Program Award and the Outstanding Achievement Award for Religion. Trinity Romano. Eden Slavin. And those were your graduates for the liberal arts program. Now presenting your graduates for the dental hygiene program. Linda Albites Marquez. Miriam Bernier. Ashley Buckle. <laughs> Serena D'Amico. Serena receives Dental Hygiene's Tepe Professionalism Award. Alexa Dennis. Alexa receives the Dental Hygiene Program Award. Emily DiTulio. Manahil Kokar. Manahil receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. 
Jason Glenn Ortiz. Victoria Venezia Santiago. Victoria receives the Procter & Gamble Public Dental Health Award. Shulamite Sarmiento. Shulamite receives the Procter & Gamble Public Dental Health Award. Dana Shusterman. Kristen Sutton. Kristen receives the Hugh Friedley Overall Clinical Achievement Award and the Henry Sheen Restorative Award. Kaylee Yakinchuk. And Kaylee receives the Sunstar Prevention Award. Those were your graduates for the Dental Hygiene Program. <laughs> Up next, we have your graduates for the Nursing Program. Christine Grace Abillion. Christine receives Biology's Academic Achievement Award and recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing. Selena Afonso. And Selena receives recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing. Aransa Amilkar. <laughs> Sabrina Balasson. <laughs> Lucy Beauregard. <laughs> Nora Bela. Sophia Bento Costa. Sophia receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Amanda Berry. <laughs> Noemi Bourgoin. Kimberly Brunel. Juliana Angela Bukovac. Megan Bidlinski. <laughs> Alyssa Carey. <laughs> Charlotte Clement. <laughs> April Corbett. <laughs> Alexi Echeveria Picot. Alexi receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Jessica Errett. <laughs> Ashley Marie Foster. <laughs> Ashley Gauthier. Ashley receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Olivia Gavansky. Daniela Gutierrez Dagoy. <laughs> Yutong Jia Hu. Yutong receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award and the Nursing Academic Excellence Award, as well as the Environmental Studies Certificate. Micah Lacroix Moreau. <laughs> Lauren Ashley Lafave. Amina Lee. <laughs> Allison Moore. <laughs> Emily Mare Nukumizu. <laughs> Votan Dat Nguyen. Dat receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award and the Prix d'Effort et d'Amélioration from the French Department. Brittany Normandin. Brittany receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award, the Nursing Academic Achievement Award, recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing, and the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nursing Students. Taiwo Onolaja. Kushi Patel. Vishal Patel. Vishal receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award and recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing. Amy Patrick. Amy receives the Nursing Award for Excellence in Professionalism and Caring in Nursing and recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing. Patricia Marie Pinlack. 
Zoe Pulio. Zoe receives the Award for Excellence in Nursing Leadership and recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing. Ashley Rutkowski. Tara Scotcher. Christina Simo. Nguyen Bao Fong Jun. Fu receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award and recognition for commitment to peer tutoring in nursing. Haley Wildenman. And those were your graduates for the nursing program. Now presenting your graduates for the Intensive Nursing Program. Bryn Deparois. <laughs> Oluwa Konyan Sola Nena Okafor. Nena receives the Award for Excellence in Nursing. Maya Wilson. And those were your graduates for the Intensive Nursing Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Paramedic Care Program. Sabrina Arquet. Sabrina receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Frédéric Bedard. Shannon Clark. Michaela Doyle. Michaela receives the Biology Academic Achievement Award. Sandra Cousy. Lori Mace. Lori receives the Psychology Award for Career Program Students. Michaela Passarelli. Michaela is the runner up for the Psychology Award for Career Program Students. Sarah Valino. Victoria Willard. And those were your graduates for the Paramedic Care Program. Up next, we have your graduates for the Biopharmaceutical Production Technology Program. Marion Bujekian. Ivana Fedik. Ariel Joy Gantala. Ariel receives the Chemistry Academic Achievement Award. Fuang An Ha. Jomlin Rose Jacinto. Anastasia Zoe Marcou. Teresa Mason. Valerie McDonald. Karanvir Singh. And those were your graduates for the Biopharmaceutical Production Technology Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Engineering Technologies Program, Energy Management. Marianne Allegria. Kenny Nasser. And those were your two graduates for the Engineering Technologies Energy Management Program. Now your graduates for the Engineering Technologies Program's Photonics Profile. Nicholas Brien. Paula Galban. Matthew Nascimento. Matthew receives the Award of Excellence from the Engineering Technologies Program. Dominic Nudo. Marco Alonso Rosales Otero. Betia Tosha ING.
Guillermo Viramontes Alanis. And those were your graduates for the Engineering Technologies Photonics Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Police Technology Program. Mukadas Ahmad. Nicola Arsenault. Philippe Ayot. Philippe Bedard. Mathis Bélanger. Laika Bissonnet. Simran Chowdhury. Chiara Colacello. <laughs> Miriam Sear. <laughs> Sabrina De Castro. <laughs> Gabrielle Dessel. Gregory Flynn. Michael Gauthier. Viken Japuzian. Gabriel Jean. Andrew Khalil. Ruslan Krasilnikov. Benjamin Landry. Francis Larouche. Alexandre Lebel. Charlie Léonard. Océane Marion. Sarah Markovska. Vincent Marquis. Jade McHugh Thibault. Melissa McCarthy. Megan McCormick. Charlotte McDevitt. Kiana Morris. Laurence Pilon. Krishiga Rajakrishnan. Kelly Sacconi. Mason Simar. 
Dave Saint Laurent. Dave receives the Police Technology Robert Burnett Memorial Award. Senya Simonenko. <laughs> Mathieu Tadio. <laughs> Nicholas Vasil. <laughs> Matthew Wabe. <laughs> Kapil Wigneshwaran. Yana Zems. And those were your graduates for the Police Technology Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Youth and Adult Correctional Intervention Program. Emma Apostolakis. Desiree Chloe Boland. <laughs> Emily Coursol. <laughs> Coralie Degno. <laughs> Eva DeLuca. <laughs> Tatiana Fraser. Ramnit Gill. Cassandra Leroux. Kate Lewis. Blair Marcou. Melissa Penny. Maria Pettigrew. <laughs> Emmanuel Poirier. <laughs> Megan Ranger. <laughs> Geneviève Roson. Geneviève receives the Indigenous Studies Certificate, Peace and Social Justice Studies Certificate, and Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Daphne White. And these were your graduates for the Youth and Adult Correctional Intervention Technology Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Information and Library Technologies Program. Kimberly Huard Jones. Julia Langlois. Emily Legault. Geneviève Manolesco. Megan Moore. Megan receives the Information Library Technologies Academic Excellence Award. And those were your graduates for the Information and Library Technologies Program. And now presenting your graduates for the Information and Library Technologies Intensive Program. Kimberly Gilmore. <laughs> Elizabeth Howell. Elizabeth receives the ILT Rabib Nakfi Achievement Award. Alexander Markovic. <laughs> Evangelina Mujica Behar. Ashley Tebow. And those were your graduates for the Information and Library Technologies Intensive Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Business Management Program. Rami Al Abed. Haley Caballero. Woo! 
Ryan May Chasson. Ryan May receives the Academic Award of Excellence from Business Administration. Tiffany Sila Schlott Donlan. <laughs> Mandy Jeffrey. <laughs> Chloe Harvey. <laughs> Danica Henrichon. Fiona Rosemary Jackman. Rakshada Kusan. Yolande Marie Marquez Pacheco. Tyler McElwain. Andrew Modesto. Sonali Patel. Renaud Poudrier. Kandwani Scott Stout. And those were your graduates for the Business Management Program. Up next, your graduates for the Graphic and Web Design program, Jonathan Dean, William Gallant, Melissa Guerrera, Emily La France. Fatima Mugal. Andrew Santillan. Sarah Summers. Those were your graduates for the Graphic and Web Design program. Now presenting your graduates for the Computer Science Technology Program. Alexi Danilyuk. Braden Jasson. Priya Govil. Tyler Johnson. Evan Laverdiere. Anna Moscoloni. Anna receives the Computer Science Outstanding Achievement Award. Payal Rathod. Simon Stasovsky. And those were your graduates for the Computer Science Technology Program. Now presenting your graduates for the Professional Theater Technology Program Acting Profile, Olivier Augustus de Medici. <laughs> Damien Picconi. And those were your graduates for the Professional Theatre Acting Program. And now your graduates for the Professional Theatre Design Program, Kayla Hines. Noemi Perez. Marie-Pierre Piché-Jeté. Those were your graduates for the Professional Theater Design Program. <laughs> Presenting your graduate for the Professional Theater Technical, Technical. Program, 
Lexi Bukovetsky. All right, presenting your graduates with a Dexa Mention, Kitiara Arsenault. Oana Burduja. <laughs> Kayla Miyake. Kayla received the Women's Studies and Gender Relations Certificate. Lynn Morehouse. <laughs> Zachary Pichet. <laughs> Philippe St. Pierre. And those are all your graduates. So I congratulate all of the graduates, and I want to thank the Convocation Committee and the Registrar's Office staff for all of the work that went into making tonight possible for all of you. And I ask everyone to remain in place until the dais and the graduates have exited. The gym is going to remain open for 30 minutes if you would like to take photos with the flowers. And after this, after we exit, I invite you all to the reception in the Agora. So I officially declare the 46th convocation closed and invite the students to throw their caps in the air.